All right, so you're going to use Google Drawing to create a meme. And here is one example I had using uh, Google Draw. And I've created a template. You don't have to use it. But if you want to skip some of the hard work, I'm going to show you. I'm going to close my meme. And here I have just a Google Draw. And I already have, I used WordArt to create top text and bottom text. So once you know what your image is going to be, you can insert your image, insert image, and you can either upload it from your computer, get it from your drive. Um, I know that mine is on the computer, and so I'm going to upload from there. And let's see if I can remember what it's called. Um, sorry about that. Right there. So it's, I'm going to type in part of the name, M E. There we go. So I'm going to put that original picture in here. Okay, so now I want to stretch it out. But I want to be careful. If I just stretch this way, it's going to distort the baby quite a bit. I want to keep it in the same proportion. So I'm going to drag by the corner, and then that way it makes it larger. Whoops. It makes it larger without changing the actual picture. So I need to click on that text and I need to bring the text to the front and I'm going to move this baby down and I'm going to do the same thing and bring it front also. Now if you don't use my template then you might not have to worry about some of that. Okay so got a good start here. I want to change the background color. So I'm going to click over here on these checks and I'm going to hit control and I'm going to right click and click background. And here's where I can pick any kind of color. On my original I did black but I might pick a pretty blue because the baby's eyes are so blue. Oh I like that. So I'm going to leave that and then most um, memes have text on the top and bottom. Um, so I'm going to change my text this time. So I, by double clicking, since this is word art, I double click and it brings up the text. She used, and I'm going to do that and it's going to replace that. My picture, question mark, and I might put an exclamation point just to show how sometimes people get upset if their pictures are used without their permission. All right, I could change the color of my font if I wanted. I can change this font to make it a little bit larger. It just depends on what you would like to do. It is bolded. So then after that I'm done. So easy peasy.